Well, this summer I've been taking a look back at some memorable stories in a segment that we've called in the vault. Arizona football is set to play at Hawaii to start the season this Saturday in a matchup of the late Dick Tomey's former teams. So we turn back the clock to 1998 when the Wildcats also visited the Rainbows. Phil Bueller reports from the time Tomey was returning to the Aloha State. And I think the program will continue to grow. 11 years have passed since Dick Tomey said a tearful goodbye to paradise and hello to Arizona Wildcat football. But the memories of Tomey's time resurrecting the Hawaii Rainbow program are still fresh in his mind. I love Hawaii, and I don't make any bones about it. I, uh, Hawaii, Hawaii just feels so good to me. It always has. Since he left the Hawaii program back in 1987, Dick Tomey has been back to the islands countless times for vacations and even recruiting. But never before has he walked the visiting sideline here at Aloha Stadium against his old team. I'm sure it'd be a very emotional thing because that time there was a very special time. It was a very, it was probably just a rare, rare time. Tomey's stint in Hawaii began in 1977, a down and out Division I AA program with aspirations of the big time. And it wasn't long until he delivered. I mean, we were averaging 18,000 a game. And we went up to 45,000. Oh, the largest rise I, I was told in the history of the NCAA in terms of attendance and performance on the field. It was unbelievable. 11 years later, he's still Hawaii's most highly regarded coach, which left the door wide open for recruiting island players. We do have some ties back there, and Coach Tommy's got a tremendous amount of respect back there still um, because of what he did for that program. With the Wildcats in Hawaii, Phil Bueller, Kega 9 Sports. And the Wildcats did win that game, they had that great 1998 season. Tommy meant so much to both programs.